Payne, the beloved One Direction star, tragically fell to his death from a hotel balcony just minutes after receiving an upsetting email that caused him to fly into a rage, according to one of the last people to see him alive. A young woman, who spoke exclusively to Mail Online under the pseudonym Rebecca, witnessed the pop star's disturbing behavior at the Casa Sur Hotel in Palermo, Buenos Aires, where Payne had been staying. She shared that Payne, visibly upset by the contents of an email, smashed his laptop and shouted expletives before retreating to his room, from which he would soon fall to his death. Rebecca, 28, an IT consultant from Washington, D.C., described her encounter with Payne as unsettling and surreal. She recounted how Payne, who had recently been dropped by his record label and was entangled in legal disputes with his ex-fiancée Maya James, was sitting on a sofa in the hotel lobby, reading through his emails. She noted how his demeanor shifted drastically after opening one particular email. He suddenly took the computer, shouted F asterisk 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 this S asterisk asterisk teammate, and started bashing the laptop on the ground, she said. Rebecca had already noticed that Payne was acting erratically earlier in the day. She had observed him in the lobby, seemingly waiting for someone to recognize him. Payne, who was dressed in a white vest, cargo pants, and trainers, appeared disheveled and restless. At one point, he approached a group of women and insisted they join him in the elevator, even making lighthearted but unsettling comments about Americans, before pretending to choke one of the women in a manner that Rebecca found disturbing. Despite this odd behavior, Rebecca initially dismissed it as the antics of a troubled celebrity. But things took a darker turn when Payne returned to the lobby later, clutching his laptop and seemingly using its accessibility settings, which caused the computer to announce aloud each movement of the cursor. It was then that Payne encountered the fateful email that appeared to trigger his breakdown. After smashing his laptop, he reportedly muttered, I used to be in a boy band. That's why I'm so f asterisk 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 get up. The incident seemed to have shaken not only Rebecca but also the hotel staff, who had already been on edge due to Payne's erratic behavior throughout the day. One staff member was seen calling security or the police after the laptop incident, though it's unclear whether they had arrived before Payne's fatal fall from his third-floor balcony. Just minutes after the outburst, ambulances were called to the scene following Payne's 45-foot plunge into the hotel's internal courtyard. Authorities have seized Payne's mobile phone and laptop from his hotel room as part of the investigation into his death. The devices are being analyzed to determine whether the email Payne received played a role in his final moments. As of now, the sender and contents of the email remain unknown. Payne's death comes at a time when the pop star had been going through a particularly challenging period. Only two weeks prior, Payne was dropped by his record label, Universal Music, effectively ending his hopes for a second solo album. Additionally, his former fiancé, Maya James, had recently initiated legal proceedings against him, accusing Payne of obsessively contacting her and encouraging his fans to harass her online. Just days before his death, James had served Payne with cease and desist papers, demanding he stop contacting her and her family. Rebecca, who had traveled to Buenos Aires for a wedding, described her encounter with Payne as both bizarre and haunting. She revealed that her last interaction with the singer occurred around 4.26 p.m. local time, just half an hour before Payne's fatal fall. At that moment, Payne had made a comment about his former life in One Direction, saying, I used to be in a boy band. It was one of the last things he would say before his death. Reflecting on the incident, Rebecca said, I've never taken cocaine, but he was behaving exactly as I'd imagine someone would on the drug, he wasn't focusing, and his pupils were dilated. He was behaving in an aggressive way, though not to anyone in particular. She speculated that Payne may have been waiting in the lobby for a drug resupply, although this remains unconfirmed. The aftermath of Payne's death has left hotel guests and staff reeling. Several guests reported seeing the singer's body after his fall, while others, including some of Rebecca's friends, witnessed the actual fall itself. Hotel staff were said to have been frantic in the moments following the tragedy, as ambulances arrived on the scene and paramedics attempted to save the singer's life. Unfortunately, Payne was declared dead shortly after the fall, with a post-mortem report later confirming that he died of multiple traumas and both internal and external hemorrhages. In the wake of Payne's death, tributes poured in from fans and fellow celebrities alike. 
His former bandmates from One Direction expressed their deep sorrow, with Harry Styles stating, The years we spent together will forever remain among the most cherished years of my life. I will miss him always, my lovely friend. Styles' heartfelt statement reflected the sentiments of millions of fans who had grown up listening to Payne and the band. Louis Tomlinson, another One Direction member, vowed to be there for Payne's seven-year-old son, Bear, writing in a statement, If Bear ever needs me, I will be the uncle he needs in his life and tell him stories of how amazing his dad was. Payne's death has prompted an outpouring of grief from fans around the world, with many gathering outside the Casa Sur Hotel to pay tribute to the singer. Candlelit vigils, flower-laying ceremonies, and even impromptu sing-alongs of Payne's songs have been held in his honor. Some fans even attempted to communicate with Payne using a Ouija board, reflecting the deep emotional connection many felt with the star. As the investigation into Payne's death continues, authorities remain focused on determining whether drugs or alcohol played a role in the tragic incident. Reports have surfaced suggesting that hotel staff made two separate calls to emergency services before Payne's fall, with one call allegedly reporting that Payne was intoxicated by drugs and alcohol. Police have also revealed that Payne's hotel room was in complete disarray, with various items broken, further fueling speculation about what might have led to his untimely death. For now, Payne's family, friends, and fans are left to mourn the loss of a talented artist who touched millions of lives through his music. His family issued a heartbreaking statement, saying, Liam will forever live in our hearts. The singer's former bandmates and colleagues have echoed this sentiment, vowing to keep his memory alive. I, I didn't expect it, it was a shock, I was at home, I, I didn't even know he was here, still I thought he was at the USA, and a shock, I, I'm in shock still. Rest in peace Liam Payne. Condolences to his friends and family. Sending strength to Cheryl and his son Bear, and all the One Direction family. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates on celebrity deaths and news updates.